morning, everyone. It's Dave, and we're back with our next reading of the Old Testament. Um, hope you all are having a great Friday. Um, today, if you've been following along with us, you know that we're in Genesis chapter 18. Um, we're going to cover the topic, and we'll be out of the King James Version today, the, my thin line. Um, if you don't have a Bible, you can go to Bible.com and read for free, or you can download the Version app on any Android or iOS device and read for free as well there. So um, we're going to talk Abraham's heavenly visitor, Sarah, promised a son, Sodom and Gomorrah's fate. Abraham intercedes for Sodom for a total of 33 verses today. So this will be one of our longer, one of our longer chapters. So, all right, let's go ahead and get to this. All right. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lift up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground and said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye hearts after ye shall pass on. For therefore are ye come to your servant. And they said, So do as thou hast said. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah, and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead it, and make cakes upon the hearth. And Abraham ran into the herd and fetched a calf tender, and a good calf tender and good, sorry, and gave it unto a young man, and he hastened to dress it. And he took butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed, and set it before them, and he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah, thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life, and lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, and were stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord, being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laughed not, for she was afraid. And they said, Nay. But thou didst laugh. And the men rose up hence and looked towards Sodom. And Abraham went with them to bring them on the way. And the Lord said, Shall I ride from Abraham? Shall I hide from Abraham the thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham sh shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I know him, that he will command his children and household after him. And they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he hath spoken of him. And the Lord said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it, which has come unto me, and if not, I will know. And the men turned their faces from thence and went toward Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. And Abraham drew near and said, Will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? Preadventure there be fifty righteous within the city. Wilt thou also destroy and not spare the place for the fifty righteous that are therein? That be far from thee to do after this manner, to slay the righteous with the wicked, that the righteous should be as the wicked, that be far from thee. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? And the Lord said, If I find in Sodom, Fifty righteous within the city, and I will spare all the place for their sake. And Abraham answered and said, Behold, now I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, which am dust and but dust and ashes. Preadventure, there shall lack five of the fifty righteous, wilt thou destroy all the city for the lack of five? And he said, If I find forty five, I will not destroy it. And he spake unto him again and said, Peradventure, there shall be forty found there. And he said, I will not do it for forty's sake. And he said unto him, O let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. 
Peradventure there shall thirty be found there. And he said, I will not do it if I find thirty there. And he said, Behold, I have now taken upon me to speak unto the Lord. Peradventure there shall be twenty found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for twenty's sake. And he said, O Lord, and, and he said, O let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak yet but this once. Peradventure ten shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for ten's sake. And the Lord went his way as soon as he had left communing with Abraham, and Abraham returned unto his place. So Abraham got the Lord to come from 50 righteous people down to 10. Just able to find 10 righteous people that God would save uh, Sodom. Well, Abraham tried and tried and tried. We'll see what happens, I guess, in the next few chapters. So thanks so much for joining me today. I uh, hope you all have an amazing Friday. Um, if you got the day off, uh, which like I do, I uh, hope you're enjoying it. And if you like my shirt, I'll put a link down below where you can get it. It's my daughter's. All right. <laughs> Super comfy. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you unseen you're not